More like Booyah. Who on earth do you think you are? No, boo you! Why do you hit so hard? All the better to hit you with, my dear. Well, why do I only have 15 minutes to kill you? To fill you with the same sense of inactionable fear that my previous victims felt before I ended their existence. I, um, I think I'm gonna wait until I have a bigger weapon. Ladies, gentlemen, and monsters of all ages, Magnamalo has now been fightable in the Monster Hunter Rise demo for a few days, and there is one general agreed-upon feeling throughout the community as a whole about him. Magnamalo is hard. And I don't just mean he's happy to see it, though he does wag his tail quite a fair amount. He is an absolute unit of measurement. One Magnamalo long is about... 15 minutes, 15 minutes full of pain and dread and destruction and mostly, honestly, it's about the 15 minutes. So the thing is, I haven't just seen people saying that he's hard, I've seen people saying he's too hard. I've seen a few people even starting to swear off of some features of Rise as a whole based on this advanced demo quest, saying that they hate all of the quest preparation stuff that this game requires you to do. But there are two things about that. Firstly, if you never get hit by an attack, it is technically more efficient to just not bother with these buffs or preparation too much. Drive your dog straight to Magnamalo, beat the crap out of him, don't stop until he dies. The preparation is to make it more comfortable and cushy for the average person to complete, letting you survive certain attacks you otherwise wouldn't be killed by, and letting you have slightly bigger gaps between your attacks if you get a couple of attack sphere birds. Just a slight amount, it's not much, but it's it's just it, it's this tiny little things that help out. Secondly, well, yeah. He's hard. You know why he's hard? They don't expect most people to kill him. The people who made the quest don't expect you to kill him. Most advanced quests in Monster Hunter demos in the past have been hard enough to cause quite a bit of challenge. A pretty high tier monster that you have to fight with relatively low tier equipment on a shorter than average timer. And generally speaking, I would say even before this, it took an above average hunter to even kill the monster in the advanced quest of a Monster Hunter demo. But even the wonderful people over at Team Darkseid are in agreement that Magnamalo is just an order of magnamolitude higher difficulty than any previous advanced demo quest. Yes, I just made a Magnamala pun with the word magnitude. Expect a lot more of this in general for the future. I'm not into puns. Point being, this is more difficult than quests that previously were too hard for an average middle-of-the-pack hunter. If you can't beat it, don't feel bad. You're not alone. You are in the vast majority of people. If you have completed advanced quests in previous demos and can't complete it in this demo, still don't feel bad. It's a whole other step harder than the full game will ever be, because the main thing going on here is time. His closest spawn to the camp that we spawn at is still around a minute of travel away from the camp at minimum, and the full quest time is 15 minutes. With the weapons that we have in the demo, it is absolutely hard as hell to kill him. You need a whole other level of precision, another kind of unhittable movement, never being carded, but also being able to keep hitting him frequently enough, because he really does have an absolute load of health, even though he can one-shot you in multiple different ways. It's like he's a glass cannon, but he forgot the glass part. He's just a straight up freaking cannon made of metal or some other really, really hard material. But if you're getting discouraged, remember that this quest isn't canon, meaning it doesn't really count. Yes, I just made another canon joke. I'm going to be making lots of puns. The real game, the entirety of Monster Hunter Rise will likely never be this hard in terms of time compared to monster health. Sure, things may one shot you still in the future, but when you have full control of your build and timers that are way longer than 15 minutes, it means you can afford to play a bit more carefully and avoid said one shotting attacks. So you can even use things like evasion skills. The main thing that this quest is doing is really pushing what we have to its limits. It is completable. If you are practice enough in this demo to be truly comfortable playing your weapon and you spend enough time against him specifically to learn his patterns, like the ultimate showing of understanding of the rise mechanics that we have in this demo. In other words, short term, this is really cool for those who have done it. Sure, it will be an achievement that you can talk about forever, but it shouldn't in any way affect your view or expectations on the difficulty of Monster Hunter Rise as a whole. Remember, first and foremost, this is not a G or Master Rank game. The highest difficulty of stuff we will fight 
is high rank. And generally speaking, even the highest end of high rank stuff does not get anywhere close to the proper end monster difficulty of AG or master rank expansion. So as hard as things could be, they will probably leave at least a little bit of room to pump the difficulty up in the future. If anything, think of this as a response to the small crowd that complained that Monster Hunter Rise was far too easy already based on only the first two demo quests that we've had. Like, they wanted to prove a point. In, in any case, whether the point was to specifically those people, or just to all of us as a whole, point proven. You know how to make things really damn hard for us if you want to, even while still being completable. Take the wheel, Capcom. Take control. Bring us to the finish line. Personally, I really like this kind of a try-hard level challenge that pushes you to learn the game, but I know that some people would rather just fight a monster and expect to kill it in one session and then, you know, move on with their life like it's no big deal, and that is totally fair enough. But use this, if you're doing that, as a fuel for your own hellfire. As I've said already in a previous video, hold on to the anger and sadness and pain that you feel feel when he hurts you, when he carts you or you time out on the quest, and use it as motivation. Get to him in the full game and distribute full-on vengeance upon his face! I will say a bit of behind the scenes information here, the pro and new video that has recently gone up of us fighting Magdamalo was an incredibly long session, the longest that we have ever spent on any monster in the series, ever. And we still didn't kill him. We have given up on demo fights before easier than we gave up on this because we just believed that we could do it. At, at, at different points that we've done these demos, the Iceborne demo when I was blindfolded to Valkana because we were trying to keep me a little bit more spoiler free than I am with Magnamalo, the GU demo where I was nowhere close to as good at old style hunting uh, that I should have been to kill him, and then the base world demo when I was just a fresh hunter, like days into hunting, I had no idea what I was doing, there's no chance I was going to kill Nergigante, but this one, especially with how much time I spent in the Rise demo, it felt like something we could do, so we spent so much time on it and we still haven't done it together. I'm sure we will in the future, we'll have that sort of itch to fight him together and, and just tie up this loose end in the demo, even if it's way after we've killed him in the main game, we will want to tie up this loose end. But for now, god damn, he's a challenge. But it's really fun. In any case, it's basically a straight up 15 minute period where if any hunter in your quest makes a moderately sized mistake, is in anything bigger than a small tiny mistake, Nine times out of ten, it will cost you enough time to not complete the quest. And sometimes, if you don't mess anything up, he will just go to a zone that is really far from where he sleeps, then when you get him to low enough health, he will run all the way to a sleep zone halfway across the map, costing you two minutes of travel time on an already incredibly tight timer. It's rough. You have to be perfect. You have to be perfect consistently enough that you can be perfect repeatedly enough that you are also perfect on the exact attempt that Magna Mullo is perfect for you, too. That's the long and short of it. If anything, I would say expect this to be closer to the future of how Monster Hunter demos will be balanced around their advanced quests. The idea of not killing the flagship monster to create this sense of fear in a new player is definitely a purposeful emotion that they want you to feel to inspire you for the full game. God, I cannot wait for the full game. I just cannot wait to get my hands on it. Every little tiny bit more that I get to know about it and experience experience it makes me so happy and honestly i may be a little bit biased as he does use a ton of extremely pretty pink fire particle effects that i hope to all hell will be somehow available on an armor set by the way so i can run around looking on the outside how i feel on the inside yes this game is going over the top a little bit but fuck it this is 2021 we've all been through some shit so let's look at the glass half full and prepare for the journey ahead all right everyone i've been cotton dinosaur and this has been a bit of a discussion on my thoughts about the monster hunter demo magnamalo quest specifically in relation to its difficulty have you managed to kill it yourself yet are you still trying to kill it or are you planning to wait until the full game release to see him once more like if you liked the video subscribe to the notification bell for more and most importantly ladies Ladies and gentlemen, until next time, stay sweet. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world our stage Is, uh, goodbye